we are because of the love of our parents. A love that is perfected only by the love of Jesus. Today, you declare yourselves to be the sons whom your mother, your parents, truly loved. this person also. What kind of a mother is she? For me, she's the kind of mother that is willing to sacrifice everything. There was a time she told me, hindi pa ako namamatay. Siguro, kaya hindi pa ako namamatay because kailangan niyo pa ako. When I came home, I was also bedridden. I couldn't move her. I was partially paralyzed. Nag-sacrifice yun naman yung mother ko. How? Because dalawa kaming bedridden. Dalawa kaming naalaga na pamilya ko. So siguro sabi niya, now I think it is time. By this time, nahihirapan kayo. That's the how she exited this life. Up to the last moment, nag-sacrifice siya. So sabi ko nga, this is my mother's ultimate sacrifice. Hey Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now that we are for the Lord. Amen. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. To God. matter of fact, she believed in the saying that you give until it hurts. She would always remind us to give thanks to God. Every opportunity and every blessing that we that come our way, she would always th say, Anak, mag thank you ka kay God. She was always even thankful in the smallest of things. She wasn't perfect, but nobody is. But she has always strived for perfection and excellence.
the one thing that me and my brothers would agree upon is uh, is the fact that um, she's very long suffering. Um, she would sacrifice everything. At sa pagkain, she wants us to share. And you can add a She always taught us how to respect people. She instilled this, instilled that to us. was the one that was the voice of reason. She wanted to meet me, and so I flew to Washington State. She made me feel comfortable. I truly appreciate that she was a peacemaker. About her personality is that she would go above and beyond for me. Uh, she was the one who kept me company while my parents were at work. Uh, she was the one who taught me how to play checkers. Uh, she would play just simple badminton with me and while I would be active and jump around and run around we would laugh together when she would fail to hit it. So Lola, know that I'm deeply grateful for the time and love you spent and sacrificed me for me and I, that I love you always. love we are nothing she left this world full of love full of sacrifice and full of faith love sacrifice and faith somehow these three things always have to go together there is no way you can even call it love without sacrifice and faith. Reality becomes radically different when you see it from the perspective of love. We only learn to love truly after we have realized that we have been loved truly. Today, you declare yourselves to be the sons whom your mother your parents truly loved. I am strong when I am on your shoulders. You raise me up to more than I can be. Loved.
how is it like not to be suffering anymore, not to have Parkinson's anymore, not to have cancer, not to be mute, and instead singing with the saints and angels. Ma, pa, what does it feel to be finally home? What is it like to have the arms that were spread on the cross because of pure love? Those same arms hold you now. Pa, you lived the last decades of your life blind. I bet you can now see everything. What are the colors of, his, of Jesus' eyes, Pa? Ano kayang kulay? Ma, when you laid your head on his chest as he hugged you, did you cry tears of joy? Maybe you could laugh now. I want to see and hear what you're experiencing, Ma and Pa. One day, but for now, I am so happy that you are home at last. We love you, Ma. We love you, Papa.